Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Rupan the Third, part one, episode number seven and eight. All right. The previous episode, um, we met Guaymon for the first time, and we kind of got in, uh, involved in uh, uh, in a problem. Kind of, you know, Guaymon's master was actually trying to pick out both Rupan and Guaymon at the same time, and that's why he kind of tricked Goemon in a way to attack Rupan but you know in the end uh, both of them kind of uh, you know turn it back towards him uh, Fujiko as always was like you know with her own plan trying to like you know <laughs> confuse and not confuse but trying to uh, go get the like uh, the I think a diamond or something she, yeah it was a diamond wasn't it and like she was trying to get that all that stuff so like by the end of it Rupan and Goemon kind of bring that person to like, you know, I think he, they basically kills them, doesn't he? Yeah, he, he kill him, kill the master, and then you know, like we get a little rivalry kind of thing. Goemon is like, I'll come and get you one day, <laughs> and like you know all that stuff. So yeah, I'm sure we're going to see Goemon after this more frequently. Um, that was episode number five, I think. Yeah, episode five. Uh, episode six was about um again it was again like a thing with fujiko you know her plan of actually trying to get a diamond which was like you know in, in like you know in, 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 which was in possession of someone who removed his memory and had like an his memory removal thing had an automatic timer and to onto when it's going to come out and like i really liked that episode because they're like you know like it was like a lot of betraying and everything going on like uh, <laughs> But at the same time, it's very well well crafted plan, and uh, like you know, by the end of it, the only one who wins is Fujiko because she is the one who actually gets away with the diamond, and she doesn't even have to give anyone any part of it because the only partner that she had was uh, like you know killed by uh, <laughs> um, Jigen, and Fujiko's like yeah, like I got my diamond, like let's just get out of here and in the end we see her like you know winning the whole um thing so yeah that was good so let's see what these two episodes bring and uh, this is episode my reaction to episode number um seven yeah episode seven so yeah without further ado let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the time i hear link it to whichever is your preference and let's start okay here's the countdown three two one go All right. Hmm. All right. It's been a while we've seen uh, Zenigata, haven't we? Yeah. Hmm, let's... Oh, it's going on. Yep. No, wait, what? Oh. Oh, a little bit more. He's kind of doing it. Oh! <laughs> um... Why is he training to be... Oh, no, you're... No, no, yeah. <laughs> wow. Book of... Whoa. Ok 
guy is here. Oh. Okay, they are. Yep. He's the real deal, so. Hmm. Okay. Book of Secrets. It was stolen by the Sentinel. Oh. Master of the Jew. Oh. Okay. Okay, so they are training for like a battle or something, a duel? <laughs> oh my god, he really is leaving him. Alright, there he is. So that's why he was training to... One wolf calls another. Okami wa okami yo wobu. Yobu. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, he's going to take his identity, wow. Oh my god. I... I don't think he'll recognize Rupan, but let's see. <laughs> he does look like that guy, you know, Rupan. Um, the guy whose identity he took. Okay, there are five of them, yeah. Akabe Shishibana. <laughs> Great, that's Fujiko. Oh my god, why? <laughs> like, <laughs> that's Fujiko, obviously, it's very apparent. Yeah, that is Fujiko. I was for a moment that. <laughs> okay, there you go, he also realizes. Oh my god! Wait, really? That's not Fujiko? Yep, I don't know. No, I still think that's Fujiko. I don't know. Come on, dude, go. <laughs> Well, alright, Rupan's turn now. Alright, okay. <laughs> okay, I think this is not Fujiko. Who is this then? Okay, I don't think that's Fujiko. Never mind. Oh, 
all right let's go you're training let's see if it comes that is fujiko great that is Fuj fujiko Wait, what? <laughs> oh, um, about that. Oh! Well. Wow, okay, there you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're making a sword. Is that a sword? Yeah. Okay. You're missing something. Heart of pure iron, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> all right. Oh! oh. <laughs> what? God! Oh, oh my God! Here we go again. Oh, traps! Oh my galatrops! Great! Ugh. Yeah, it was Fujiko. So she also kind of got a little training or something with the sword. Um. Wow, all of them were her people. Oh wow, she's she... Oops. Ha! Okay. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Great. Well, obviously, they have guns now. Great. But this probably won't work on Goemon. But uh, no, no, this is like a, a machine gun. 
light machine gun so it will be a lot difficult for Goemon to <laughs> ha my god this guy stuff Okay, there, she, there he is. Okay, I doubt. It is a machine gun, so. But this is going on, we're talking about. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, well, there you go. You cannot be straightforward with Goemon. You know, like the thing that Rupan uses, like brains and tactics, that's how you can defeat him. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a real one. The real one is inside there. Oh my god. Well, that was um bad luck. Uh, oh no, Fujiko's going to go in and grab Oh no. Wait, what? Okay, nice. Twenty five years ago. Well, is this him when he was younger? I think so. Oh, there you go. There's Asen Rupan. That's Asen Rupan, isn't it? <laughs> Cut a radish. <laughs> oh, wow. I think that is Asen Rupan, but I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, that's the second. Okay, then not the first. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he also kind of did a little bit wrong, you know. He'll probably tell him to duel him or something. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> This guy's planning something. All right. 
let's see what how lupin actually uh, brings like you know brings this to his advantage oh no he's going to fight him okay oh i thought he was going to fight goemon okay never mind wait what is that allowed <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not a duel. What is this? <laughs> oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Got him. Well. <laughs> That's definitely not a duel. But I guess he won. Uh, oh god, Fujiko. <laughs> yeah, like she's been winning for a couple of two, three episodes. Like, like all the, like, you know, he just kind of kinds of na comes and nabs it in the end oh oh nice okay there you go all right good there you go at least uh, rupan was able to get it Hmm. I wonder what Rupan's going to do with that scroll. Like, is he going to sell it or like what? Oh, here he is. <laughs> it won't work with him no it won't work he slashed <laughs> does he have a trap or something He was, he was egging him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's not amused at all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> there goes the car. Here we go. The car is gone. How is he steering it? Oh, by using his weight, I think. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> oh boy. Wow, what a good episode. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> okay, this is good. Wow, that that was a really good episode. All right, so here in this episode, um we see Rupan actually preparing to get the uh, <coughs> the secrets of um, the the uh, the Zantiskin, yeah the Zantiskin secrets the scrolls that it that was hidden and it's like a um, what do you call it something that has been passed on and that is with a guy that the guy we saw in the later who actually like you know uh, in like in using trickery he got that from. Uh, Rupan's uh, dad. I think Rupan second is Rupan's dad, isn't he? Yeah, I, I think that's how it's supposed to go because obviously uh, Arsene Rupan the first was his grandfather, so obviously Rupan two must be his dad. So <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, so as I was saying, so since it was already like you know a thing for the uh, Rupan family, like you know it it was a a, a secret you can say I guess uh, like a, a secret sword uh, the Zantitskin was something from the Rupan family and it got transferred to someone else through trickery. Obviously Rupan had a lot going on uh, and he was like, yeah, this is my, like, you know, like this is the uh, Rupan family's uh, thing. So no need to involve yourself in this again. Like I'll handle this myself. And um, yeah, and he goes to the place where the, the whole like the sword tournament happens and now <laughs> i really was i was i was thought that was a, i thought that was a what do you call it a, a, some new character or something like you know F Fuji, who looked like fujiko but was not fujiko Be because for a few reasons number one was that she she was using her like you know like that the sword technique that she used was probably something that uh, one can gain through training like obviously if, if you cannot do stuff like that on your own like after you know using sword for one or two days you cannot do that that's why i thought maybe maybe this girl is someone else because i've never actually seen fujiko with a sword i've seen him with a lot her with a lot of things with guns like you know machine guns and even daggers and stuff but not like okay, in a way that's not a sword that's a kodachi it's a kodachi wasn't it a short sword so i guess you can use that if you can use a dagger properly i'm not sure but you know like that's why i thought like maybe this girl is someone else or something but then like you know by the end we I realized that nah that's that's just fujiko <laughs> and another reason there was another reason why i was thinking that um that was not fujiko because she was not acting like she used to act like <laughs> You know, like she's so serious and everything. Like sitting down when Rupan even talks with her, she, she she's so serious and everything. She goes and very seriously actually does the whole you know uh, test. And I was like, okay, maybe this is not Fujiko because that's not how Fujiko's personality is. And then as soon as they call Rupan in, like uh, Goemon uh, calls Rupan to demonstrate his you know technique. Um, we see like you know fujiko like you know on top of going on and that was when i realized that oh that's fujiko like i was like yeah like <laughs> so, like that's how fujiko acts so that is fujiko like that really confirmed me that that was fujiko because before that her personality was so stiff i was like maybe this is a new character or something you know like maybe who knows maybe fujiko's long lost sister or someone <laughs> So yeah, that like as soon as I saw like you know her on top of Goemon, I was like yeah that's Fujiko, <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> oh my god! And um, Ruban basically wins the uh, like you know the match by just screaming on top of his lungs, <laughs> and you know like puts the bug uh, or that the, the the not transmitter the yeah the bug. 
on Goemon to listen to what he says and he gets to know where you know like where the the secret technique is kept and everything uh <clears throat> he does try to get to fujiko but obviously fujiko had her own plans and all that um fujiko brings in reinforcements some guns and you know like just goes there uh shoots down everything and tries to get to the secret scrolls unfortunately goemon was sitting there now for a moment that here i did think like will goemon we be able to stop this because they have like three machine guns with them and then i realized that now nah, what am i even saying this is a person who cut a plane in half so obviously he will be able to handle it <laughs> and he like you know he handles it very easy, like you know easily <laughs> tells fujiko to go away now here's where the uh, like you know the oh, the whole uh i trick two thing starts like you know like at first um he he says that fujiko like tells fujiko to go home because he wouldn't like, you know hurt a lady or kill a lady and <laughs> Rupan comes in in that distraction takes the scrolls and he's like ha got you you know like you, sh you shouldn't be so so distracted goemon and goemon is like uno reverse card that's a trap <laughs> that was actually some like, you know bombs or dynamites whatever those were <laughs> Rupan throws it away <laughs> and it it blasts the whole door inside which the scrolls are and <laughs> goemon gets trapped <clears throat> on on you know like uh, in, in rubbles he goes in and he meets the guy the guy who has actually not tricked but actually stolen the sword which was uh, the possession of uh, rupan the <clears throat> second and okay here i think this is the first time we actually meet rupan's dad uh, yeah this is the first time so <clears throat> like <laughs> Rupan's dad really looks like a phantom thief, you know, like, like Rupan, obviously Rupan does not look, Rupan the third I'm talking about, does not look like a phantom thief at all, while uh, Rupan's dad is completely a phantom thief, you know, with, with the hat, with the cape and everything, uh, like, you know, a, a, like, a, 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 like a little sword, a dagger, uh, a gun, and so many, like, you know, he, he, he's perfect for being a phantom thief. Um... <laughs> unlike lupin the third who just you know like it's just like what can i say like he, he's just like a normal guy normal guy with like you know like a suit and everything and just goes around um stealing not uh, yes trying to steal stuff and but unfortunately like you know isn't able to do it because of bad luck uh, either bad luck or fujiko because these are the two reasons why lupin never gets his hand on anything you know like it's either bad luck he doesn't get it and if he somehow is in any way able to get the treasure or whatever um fujio comes and naps it so <laughs> that's rupan's life <laughs> and okay now i do wonder like you know like um like i never thought about it that way uh, rupan's uh like rupan is just uh i guess like it's, it's like a name like you know like rupan the first arsen rupan the first arsen rupan the second arsen rupan the third now i do wonder is that really his name or is that like a name for the like you know for the for the thief uh what do you call it the persona as a thief like you know like um for example a stage name is is rupan like something like that or is rupan really rupan's name I mean his actual name is that really his actual name like rupan the third i've I, i've never thought about it now that i'm looking like you know I, have, I saw his dad it suddenly came into my mind that uh maybe rupan the first rupan the second and rupan the third these are just like you know name for the thief persona you know like kind of like a stage name or maybe they had like an original name a birth name which you know their parents gave him maybe uh, like you know rupan also has something like that i don't know about that like if you guys have any answer let me know like is this really rupan's name like Ru is rupan's name like arsen rupan the third like, is that his official name like, i wonder who knows like let me let me know if you have if you guys have any idea if this is like his actual name <clears throat> but anyways that's something different um <clears throat> so yeah as i was saying 
and uh, Goemon gets to know the thing that uh, the, the guy did and he's like you know what now that I've heard the truth obviously like I won't kill Rupan because I can see that this rightfully belongs to him so you know what let's just do a duel <laughs> and I don't know what type of a duel that was Rupan brings a, a suit of armor and um, like you know and a gun <laughs> and basically like you know kind of goes around tricking that person like you know the guy at, at beginning at the beginning he kind of tricks him to cut the, the thing and it falls on his head then he tricks him into a pitfall <laughs> and he's like yep I won <laughs> and Goemon is like yeah no problem you won like I thought I, I really thought Goemon was going to say like oh no you like you know you um disrespected the duel or something he was going to say something like that because going one is kind of uptight you know like especially in these type of uh, situations i was really surprised as to see goemon really didn't say anything he was like yeah you won no problem it's clear that you've won um so yeah i was really surprised so anyways um <laughs> ruban tries to get the scroll Unfortunately, as I said, either Fujiko or his bad luck actually screws him over by the end of it. And this time it was Fujiko. Uh, she gets the scrolls. But here again, Uno reverse card, Goemon comes in and Goemon is like, you know what? I always knew that Fujiko is going to do something like this. So there you go. This is the actual scrolls. <laughs> oh boy. Like, nice. Like, I, Fujiko has been, has been winning for the past two episodes. And I'm like, you know what? If he wins in this episode again, that'll be kind of unfair for Rupan, you know? Like, he's been doing all of this stuff. And I, ultimately, in the end, like, Fujiko comes and gets the results. Like, obviously, that's not okay. So, I'm, and this, this is all, like, you know, this is, I, and this thing is even a bigger deal because this thing actually the the secrets actually was something that Asan Rupan the second had and this is actually as he said my family matter so Fujiko actually getting away with it would actually not probably would not sit well with me or like you know I'm sure the audience and Rupan as well so it was good that Goemon like you know it actually took the initiative to actually switch the scrolls so that Fujiko if somehow gets his hand on it, it she can take the fake one and he actually in the later portion he can just hand Rupan the original one and that's what he did like good job <laughs> going on <laughs> and then like you know he says that our battle is still not over even if we win this duel I'm going to come for you later on <laughs> and he <laughs> he does try to get him once <laughs> where Rupan again tricks him like I wonder like what <laughs> Like when did he even dig that pit? Like you know that pitfall. I'm guessing you know like uh, probably uh, Goemon sent him a letter with the place where they're going to meet for the duel, and I'm I think like you know probably a date as well. I think Rupan probably went there like you know a day before the actual duel. <laughs> you know, they dug a hole and you know made a pitfall and went back and came back again the next day when it was the official day that they were going to come and duel. And he just stopped in front of the pit hole and he was like, don't you dare come in front of me, Goemon. And obviously, if you like, you know, especially in these type of situations, if you tell something, someone to do not to do something, they definitely, especially if it's Rupan, they're definitely going to do it even more. And as always, like, you know, Rupan started provoking Goemon, Goemon comes in and he just falls in the pitfall. Uh, but it was good to see Rupan actually, like, you know, helping him out up there and again in the later portion as well <laughs> Goemon <laughs> slashes his car in half <laughs> Rupan gets mad starts chasing him with that half car Goemon starts laughing and wow that was that was a really great scene you know we see both of them kind of laughing hysterically just Rupan with his half car chasing Goemon <laughs> Even that car kind of falls down, is unable to like you know handle it, and Rupan like you know ditches the car and just follows Goemon on his feet, laughing like a madman. And yeah, in the end, they become friends. Wow, that was good. <laughs> and it was nice to see Fujiko actually lose this time. You know, like as I said, like you know this is something that was actually related to uh, Rupan's own family matter. So it would really not be good if. Fujiko somehow got hand, her hands on this. Like, it will be kind of bad. So, yep, that was it.
So yeah, that was episode number seven. Let's start with episode eight. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's start. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two, one. Go. <clears throat> I have to say, I've actually not seen Goemon laughing like that with Rupan. I don't think I've seen him like that before. He has laughed, like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like that with Rupan, you know, like with Rupan laughing like that with his hand on, like, you know, on his shoulder and Goemon also laughing like that. This is the first time I've seen that. <laughs> Okay, let's see what this oh money gold Wow, this guy is having the time of his life Perfect for Fujiko and Rupan, isn't it? <laughs> Lucky charm Oh, is it a gambler or something? Wow, he's f <coughs> there. You go, Napoleon card. Wow, um, no, that's not a joke. Ooh. Ah! Yes! <laughs> I love... The... Oh my god! <laughs> I l Okay, the gang's all here playing card strategies. Zen, Shugo, Turanpu. Okay. Oh my god. Wow, 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 <gasps> but I'm sure Rupan is within any, like, you know, is probably disguised as one of them. Is Zenigata here? Let's see. These type of things, Zenigata is usually involved. Oh my god, great! Fujiko's here! And our crime boss. Alright, Zenigata is here. I'm going to talk about this thing again, like, you know, this, this whole, like, you know, like, a call letter comes, but still this, these people, like, you know, carries on with their party. I'll talk about it later. Well. <clears throat> okay 
Lucky. Oh, that's why it's called Napoleon Trump. Hmm. Wait, really? Wait, is this a real story or is this like a... Okay. <laughs> yeah, everyone says that, you know. Eh! Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I feel like Okay Uh Okay, there he is. Uh. Oh. Yeah, so what are those? Oh no! No, he's going to open it and in that process... God! Zenigata, calm down. Yeah, he's going to open it and in that time he's going to... Great. Great! Yeah! You're a fool! <laughs> oh, that's Rupa, not Fujiko! I thought that was Fujiko. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure Fujiko is here somewhere. Because I feel like I said saw another girl who looked like Fujiko. Oh my god. Obvious decoy. First round. Okay. Okay, there she is. Okay, I guess. Oh. What the? What is this? Is this a story that she's making up?
Okay. Oh, someone's here. Don't touch that. Yeah. F throw it. Oh my god. Uh. <coughs> Great. Wait, how did he <laughs> hurt his leg? What? He just blew up in his face. Oh boy. This is actually the reverse. Like everyone's trying to get get a thing from Rupa, not usually it, it happens in reverse. It's kind of interesting to see this. The tre treasure is with Rupa. Oh my god, everyone looks like Fujiko to me now. Like you know, like I feel like <laughs> that would be a good disguise for Fujiko. The nurse. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> god. <laughs> ah, Nazono. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That's simple. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Oh god, here we go. Hmm. <laughs> oh god. Oh, someone has transmitter in it. Interesting. As I said, like it's interesting to see everything in the reverse. Like, oh my god, here we go. Yeah, Rupan's. Where is Rupan? <laughs> Concerned citizen, yeah. <laughs> okay. Whoa! My God! Oh! Oh, they're trying to trap it! Oh, I was like, what are they doing? Oh my god! Uh!
Great. <laughs> well, wouldn't work. But we need to get out of here as soon as we can, so... <laughs> oh no! Um, oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Good citizen. Oh my God. All right. Nice. Okay, I wonder who the transmitter is with. Probably Rupan. Let's see. Like I, I saw Fujiko and Rupan kind of splitting up. That means if they follow Rupan, they won't get. Oh. Oh no, oh, maybe the transmitter was with Fujiko. Okay, that must be it. Oh no, the transmitter is in, in the deck, I think. Yep, that's the transmitter. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, I, fi I figured out at the, almost at the last moment. The transmitter was in the uh, car, not with any of them. <laughs> and I think that's Rupan. I think this is Rupan. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's not Rupan. Maybe I'm making a mistake okay no that's not rupan i thought that was rupan in disguise never mind <laughs> dear gas okay oops uh What's he doing? Oh boy. Oh, it's too many of them. My God. God. <laughs> Was it trying? Is it trying to like catapult himself or something? No, wait.
Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, is it? Is he going to whack him with the? St <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right, there you go. <laughs> oh there's something oh my god there's something in, in his bed <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. There you go. This. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like. I feel like Zenigata saw something. Okay. <laughs> He's running with him. <laughs> I think it's like stuck to the bed or something. Oh no, to a carpet. Wait, they used this one in the pilot film, didn't they? Th this technique? Yeah. I don't think so. What? Oh, <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> and the cars just wanted to be free, you know. <laughs> Okay, I think that's the end. All right, so that was this episode. Okay, um, here we get to see now. This is I think this is one of the not rarest, but uh, at least for this part, this is kind of rare of an episode because we actually see all the characters working together here, and like, and this is probably the first time we actually see Fujiko not trying to betray Lupin, you know, and actually not trying to get in his way. Or trick him any other way they genuinely were like you know as a team helping each other and trying to like you know do something which is not which is not something we've never seen i won't say that but it's kind of rare you know and for the whole crew to be actually present like usually we see like in the movies and everything we do see the whole crew doing stuff but it's kind of rare for all of them to be physically present at the same place together and actually working together this is quite rare and i think that was probably the best part of this uh, whole like you know episode and uh, we, we can see like going on is going to help us out from here onwards probably in most of the things that we do and uh, yeah. and yeah so okay so here we get to meet a guy uh, the guy who is has a lot of good luck okay uh, the thing that i was going to say um <laughs> like this is like a common uh, what can i say a uh, thing for uh, phantom thief uh, shows that like you know i've seen uh, quite a few animes do this and which is the whole thing with like you know like the phantom thief first uh 
gives out a call card where it's written that like we are going to do this this thing will be stolen in front of you uh like and then in the end there's a sign and all the time you know like the person who's obviously the person whose treasure is to be stolen is one of the richest persons there and they all the time they kind of like you know uh <laughs> they kind of call a party or whatever you know and even though they get that uh letter that call letter they're confident they're like you know what yeah they, they, they sent the letter but i don't care i'm going to continue with the party and i am going to like you know like and they won't be able to get uh, the phantom thief won't be able to get the treasure in front of me because the security will be so you know difficult to break through <laughs> all the time this happens and that person ends up um throwing the party and ends up losing the treasure because obviously the the phantom thieves come comes in gets somehow like you know using some like you know clever intelligent you know way they trick everyone and get the um uh, treasure in front of everyone <laughs> like uh, this is like a common theme and i'm like you know as i said like i've i've watched detective conan quite a bit and like you know kaito kid is obviously like another phantom thief in that show where like i know Cam magic kaito also has another like you know show specifically dedicated to him i think it's called magic kaito uh, which i have not seen i've seen detective conan my and my uh, like you know like uh what do you call it knowledge about uh kaito kid is from detective conan and kaito kid comes out a lot in detective conan he, he's like one of the uh support not supporting but one of the recurring characters who comes in and out in and out and like, he's like part of that universe as well so like all the time like you know, even in, in that show i've seen like you know like the whole thing with the person like you know calling the party and the police officer being concerned the police officer is like like if you really know that that person is going to come and take the treasure why even throw the party in the first place <laughs> similar to zenigata where here zenigata says that if you are really that concerned shouldn't we just wrap this party up and like you know like like make it for a more secure make it a more secure place so that uh the phantom thief isn't able to get and get uh come in and get the treasure but he's like nah like everything's fine like, you know like he won't be able to get it and yeah that's the biggest um mistake that they usually do and usually in these like these parties are usually one of the biggest cover you know like like anyone can disguise as anyone and just come in just like we saw how Rupan was basically present in the uh, what do you call it uh, in the whole in the in the place and uh, as uh, in a, with a disguise and he just like you know he like tricked everyone he's like uh, first the thing that he does is like take out the chandelier <laughs> uses a recording to say that oh you know what I've already taken the um cards the cards inside that are fake. <laughs> obviously the guy who is so concerned about his cars is definitely going to like you know make a mistake here he's going to like you know as we see he opens the cards and checks them he's like oh let me see if this is the real card or not and well that's the opportunity and there's a small opportunity that rupa needed rupa grabbed the card from there and just ran away using the bait and everything and uh, <laughs> yeah like successful i guess I, and I think this this one was probably the easiest, uh, like you know, uh, rob no, robbery, yeah, robbery kind of that uh, Rupan I think had to do. Like I've seen a lot of like you know uh, Phantom Thief, the way Phantom Thieves kind of get their things, and it's not this easy, you know. Like this guy is basically like you know like like a foolish person. He just opens the case himself, which is like the biggest uh, mistake that he could have ever committed, and that that he did. He just opened it on his own. <laughs> that defeats the whole purpose of the security <laughs> like if he himself opens it and like you know like lupan just grabs it if if he did not make that mistake it would probably be a little bit more difficult to get hands on the cards but yeah that was that simple and they get it and uh fujiko like talks about the whole like you know the the, the cards telling that yeah like um like uh like you know the joker came in front of him and he like gives predictions says that oh these cards will be someday will come in your possession all that and fujiko became that much obsessed with the cards 
and <laughs> that's why he i guess he she kind of hired everyone to get it not hired but asked them for help rupan's crew and again this is as i said this is a, another one of the rare episodes where we actually see rupan and his crew already having the thing in their possession and actually others trying to get it from him i think this is the first time we've ever actually seen something like this like you know like i'm not accustomed to seeing everyone attacking rupan to get something usually it's the other way around <laughs> so yeah that was like like this this was this time we were in the defensive team and <laughs> And I have to say, like, being in the defensive team is a lot more easier than being in the offensive team. Because you already have the things with you and you just need to, need to protect it. Mm. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's the reverse. Maybe it's easier being in the offensive team because... Um, oh, no, it depends, you know, it depends on the circumstances. But, yeah, now... Like the, the guy was actually tracking them down at the beginning i thought maybe he had the transmitter or rupan or uh, maybe fujiko i thought it never like you know uh, at that moment at least it, it did not came into my mind that maybe the transmitter is one in one in the cards <coughs> and yeah in the end we kind of figured that out what was happening and obviously zenigata gets tipped off by these people like you know by the, by the guy he's like oh i have information about rupan i'm a very good citizen who wants the best for you guys so yeah just go and capture rupan then gata obviously takes the <laughs> takes that opportunity like he he like you know all he wants is to just to capture rupan that's just it if if like you know like you can you can just use zenigata if you think about it in that way if you just say that some you rupan is involved with something he'll go there to do whatever like you know he's doing he'll just leave everything and just go to capture rupan <laughs> and that's what this guy took advantage of and um yeah like he had his own people within it and in the beginning when that guy comes in i was like maybe this guy is lupin in disguise which i was like in which which was which was not as like what can i say uh at the beginning it was not him disguised but he does end end up being disguised at as that guy uh i think his name was gold or something i forgot his name the main guy and eventually rupan does end up disguising as him <laughs> and here again we see like goemon like goemon is pretty new to in this crew that's why you know he, when he asks rupan like are you going to like you know like leave them betray them uh, abandon them like this and you know rupan is like oh don't you worry they'll be fine goemon is like ah i like you know, i misjudged you and he just goes away and this this really shows like he's completely new to the crew because he's not accustomed to rupan's way of doing things like <laughs> he goes and saves them and he's like you know to jigen and fujiko he's like ah like you know like rupan like i i misjudged that person he he just abandoned you in your uh, dangerous time <laughs> and as soon as he says that uh, jigen and fujiko's like ah that that's impossible that 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 wouldn't happen and like you know like this really shows that how they are accustomed to rupan's way of doing stuff like as soon as goemon said that they were like ah this is like you know rupan's one of rupan's tricks i'm sure he has something some kind of plan going on in his head so <laughs> and like you know like this this really shows how much like i can say the, the bond that they share and um you know even like jigen and uh, rupan's bond is very like you know tight like we all know that like you know they they are very tight uh but and fujiko also has kind of a bond with rupan like which is weird in some ways you know it's, it's like it's like a weird betray like you know like betraying the other but at the same time having trust in the other person that type of a bond but still it is also one of the strongest bonds so <laughs> Like they they really did not believe when Goemon said that they like you know Lupin abandoned you they did not believe they were like ah it's, it must be something else and they found that like you know the note in his back and it was like they were able to figure out what to do and yeah like that's how and then Lupin takes in the disguise takes the car and just flies like you know use it as a kite uh, and flies flies away with uh. The other crew members <laughs> uh the unfortunate thing however is basically the card the joker or whatever in the card actually used fujiko in a way 
to get out of the possession of that guy and <laughs> he, he the, the card was like the joker in the card was like thank you very much for taking me away from that bad guy goodbye <laughs> and he just flies away so yeah this time no one wins no one gains anything by the end of it it was just i guess like you know something uh, like the end result was nothing i guess so yeah it ended like that now i do wonder what the whole thing with the um card was like what was that about but this is you know rupan we're talking about and there are a few weird stuff happening now and then <laughs> so yeah i wouldn't think much about that so yeah that was it so as i said this was quite a rare episode i really liked it and especially the whole thing with the whole crew being together with everyone and like you know like fujiko not betraying <laughs> rupan <laughs> actually working together against something and them being in the defensive position like, these things were kind of rare i have to say and i really enjoyed that oh yeah i think that was it um is there anything else no i think that was it so yeah that was it guys that was my reaction to um rupan the third part one episode number seven and eight so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys uh, next week with two more episodes of rupan the third part one until then goodbye and have a nice day